Let's get to the latest with Apple. Deutsche Bank raising its price target on the tech giant from $280 a share to $290, but that's still about 9% below Friday's closing price and still below where it is trading today. Now, the bank says that it, that it expects iPhone demand to be better than Wall Street estimates. We have Dan Howley back with us. And Dan, Apple will be out with its earnings reports later this week. When we dig into what Deutsche Bank is saying here, what we can expect, what are you looking for in Apple's report? I think the, the big thing to look at for Apple is obviously, you know, the iPhone sales, but not just iPhone sales. I think the, the focus needs to be on what services and what accessories are doing as well. Now, this is coming a year after Tim Cook issued uh, that guidance uh, change where uh, they said that there were headwinds in China and so iPhone sales uh, and Apple sales in general would be below what was previously expected. They revised that guidance uh, and Apple stock took a hit from that. This, however, looks like it's going to be a great quarter for Apple, especially based on what analysts are saying uh, as far as their expectation goes for iPhone 11 sales in China. Uh, iPhone 11 obviously doing better than previously expected. Uh, it really came out of the gate as though just kind of a, a device that would get us over the hump to the 5G super cycle where we would see huge numbers of people upgrading. But the 11 seems to have gotten a lot of people interested and they've now upgraded to that device. Whether or not we'll still see that super cycle, if that super cycle of 5G will be as impactful as we're expecting, we'll have to wait for September. But for this quarter, I think, you know, outside of that iPhone, we have to look at how well AirPods sold in the holiday quarter, as well as Apple Watch. And then don't forget, for every new Apple device that's sold, Apple is giving away a, year, a few months, at least, of Apple TV Plus. And how many subscribers signed up for that will be an interesting number to look at if Apple releases it at all. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.